What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Dawn of Man, the simulator that simulates the simulation of the Dawn of Mankind. Wouldn't you thunk? So lastly we left off, we actually got the Tanner going. And also I was told by you handsome folks out there, thank you for all your comments and suggestions on my videos. Uh, you could also click on the subscribe button so the notification icon and be notified whenever the next Dawn of Man video goes live. Uh, so I was told you can actually set up a hunting perimeter so we could have people consistently hunting for hide and other things such as that. Um, so we're going to do that. And uh, I think the best region is going to be kind of like here. They tend to hover like here all the way to over here. So that's what we're going to do. Can we set, like, the level that they hunt as? No? I'm going to put, like, three people on that. And hopefully they start using the actual good tools. Um, I don't know, like, are they just going to hunt everything? Are these guys going to end up, like, running away? I don't really know. But uh, hopefully it leads to us actually getting uh, some new materials and some new leather. Because that's kind of what we need at this point. Uh, we need to gain five knowledge points. In order to learn dog domestication, uh, we're also getting the totem pole built for the first time, which we can start, uh, I guess, representing or uh, praying to a totem pole. I'm not really sure what that's going to entirely accomplish for us, but we're going to lower that down to one Pearson there. And as for over here, I believe doesn't it need to be, it needs to be like summer or something for this to be working properly. So we'll just set it to one person for now. Um, and I think we're about to hit winter number two, which is a bit... Oh, look at that. Literally just what I was talking about was getting this trader here. And he, of course, he's not selling dog domestication. That has to be a joke, right? So as for trading with this guy, of course, he's got six, uh, six spears himself. I want all of your hide personally. Um, and we will sell you some spears and some flint just to get up to uh 68 there and we got a ton of hide off of that so that's nice and that means the hunting area isn't completely uh, useful right now but at least we're kind of in the process of uh building up our base a little bit more and like i said we're just waiting for that five score for dog domestication and then we get bows and arrows pottery stone polishing grain processing we can actually start farming and the uh, sledge making or sled making is probably the most important out of all those things because you can actually drag uh, like a bunch of different items at once, which would be super useful in uh, a multitude of scenarios. Um, grab that hide up. Yes, ma'am. And we're actually going to be making some leather outfits with that uh, leather that we have received. We're going to try to make as many leather outfits as we can, uh, especially for the winter, which will keep them warming a bit better. Looks like they actually killed an Ibex over here. And killed a donkey while donkey has escaped. We're doing really, really well. What's wrong with you right now? Nutrition? We have 21 meat, most of it cured, and a ton of fish. How about you just go home and get some food, dog? That'll help you out. No pun intended. Because I said dog, and we're trying to go after the... You got it. You got it. Don't worry. I don't have to explain my puns to you, do I? I probably do. Some of them are a reach. Some of them are definitely a reach. I wonder if, like, the animals will realize, like, this is a hunting area. Like, don't come over here. Or if they're just gonna, you know, keep coming over here. So this dude's hungry, but he's just kind of doing his thing, I guess. I hope that, like, he will come back and not just consistently hunt until he dies. Not just hunting until you died. A.K.A. Robert Baratheon. I would hope not. Is that going to be the final piece of leather right there? Yeah. So as for leather outfits now, we have 10 leather outfits. We have 11 people. So one person is without leather outfit. That's perfectly fine with me. Uh, this is indeed kind of is like, what am I technically? Am I God in this scenario? Am I like the almighty creator? Or am I just like a head like man, if that makes sense? I don't know if that makes sense at all, but you know what I mean? Like, am I just working from, you know, like pulling the webs from, you know, inside this tent right here? Just some crazy dude. Just making sure that everything runs relatively smoothly. Um, 
I'm actually glad that we did this hunting area here. It's actually rather nice. Oh, they caught up to him. Holy crap, good job. That's enough knowledge right there. That's how you're going to get the knowledge is hunting. All right, and then the Mesolithic Age. Dog domestication unlock. So I want to domesticate dogs for sure. Do we just need to learn pottery right away in order to get to the Mesolithic Age? Or do we have to do something specific? Like, I don't know. I'm not sure. But what can we do now? Dog domestication. Do we have to build like a building for dogs? Just curious. Or do we need to find a dog? I honestly don't know what we're supposed to do for dog domestication. Um, maybe we have a work area for dog... Wait, collect tannin? Ooh. Oh, so it's like sap from specific trees? I didn't even know that existed. So you need tannin to tan leather. And we actually have a raw skin in there about to go bad right now. What a waste. I didn't know that. We just learned it now, I guess. So that's nice. In case you guys didn't know, I got a new uh, mixer. I don't know if my audio sounds worse or better. Please let me know out of curiosity. Also leave a like on the video if you guys are enjoying uh, Dawn of Man. I'm loving this game. I love games like this. It's kind of like a casual, like 30 minutes blows by like that in a game like this, which is super awesome. Um, as for domestication, I think you just find a... a wolf or like a dog or something right and my only problem with this hunting area is will they hunt like a mammoth that comes into it like i don't know if they will it's kind of scary if you ask me um so we might just cancel that real quick they're gonna go hunt the uh, donkey real quick but i doubt they're gonna get him this person's also starving to death like an idiot. Oh, somebody with a sling, finally. Good job, okay. And then we should definitely get some people on here because I want to start tanning for some more leather outfits, even though we did buy a lot of leather outfits, which is nice. Um, maybe I'll create some more, some more tents just to get the extra points. And we have the dried skin for it already, so it's not like it's an issue. And we're kind of running out of room here. We might have to create like a like a back area. Kind of like... Mm, that might kind of get in the way. And we can actually just start putting them over here. That'll work too. And then get those people to start building those things. Plenty of food. Wild donkey has been hunted. Unlocks the Mesolithic era. Yes, so the pottery will specifically unlock the Mesolithic era. Uh, era but we need... Uh, those points and now i'm kind of thinking we should probably find a dog or a wolf or whatever you tame and uh, tame it because that's going to get us knowledge points but i don't see any dogs anywhere and i guess we got to just wait for one to kind of wander through camp you know what i mean i think that's kind of the only way just kind of keep an eye on around the camp. Because I do want some puppos. And maybe that'll make everybody happier because puppos are great. It's winter right now? For real? It hasn't even snowed once. Maybe it's like the mountainous... Oh, as I say that, you can kind of see that the mountains are getting covered. I was saying, like, maybe because we're in a mountainous area, maybe the winter gets blocked. But I don't know if the game is that elaborate. Uh, so it's kind of hard to know. Both tents are being made. Beautiful. Is that going to make us ten tents? Because ten tents is where we're going to get knowledge points. But I do want more tents so we can just get more people. Storage-wise, that also increases everything for us. I don't want to run out of storage at any point. Flint picks, flint axes. That's fine. Um, yeah, I guess we just kind of wait at this point. 100 sticks, knowledge one. Okay. Uh, I'm going to add that hunting region back. But maybe just move it. Maybe move it like a little deeper. Or we can move it like... Let's check. It seems like we've hunted, like, the region out of extinction at this point. But I'm going to put it right back there. I think that was a good hunting spot. We'll throw we'll throw two people there. We always need more hide. So it's always important to have. Is anybody collecting this stuff? Or do you need, like, a specific tool for it? Nope, they're collecting. Awesome. Oh, cave lion attack. What the f... Where? Where? Okay. All right, so... You two. Let's chill on this, right? 
You need to kill the cave lion. We're going to go one time speed. All right, we're going to focus the camera on this. Uh-oh. Come in. Oh, God. Oh, no, not the kid. Not the kid. Oh, God, here he goes. Oh, God, here he goes. Kill it. You should all have weapons and slings and stuff. There you go. Good job. We didn't lose anybody. Okay, good. First cave lion kill. Look at that. Heck yeah. I thought that was going to... I thought he was going to pounce the kid. Ooh, would have that been brutal. So I think the work area for hunting is only influenced by the weapon in hand. So if they can't kill a woolly mammoth, they're not going to attack a woolly mammoth, which is, which is cool. That's actually uh, some free hide, which is nice. Milestone unlocks survival knowledge. Whoa. Hey, milestone number two, guys. Hell yeah. We learned survival. So I guess we probably unlocked that for killing the cave lion attack. Um, killing that off, that is. As for tannin, we do have plenty now. So we can start uh, tanning a little bit. But I'm personally only going to tan one more piece of leather. Because we only need one more piece of leather to get enough leather outfits for everybody. So we'll just get that one last piece of leather. And then we'll, we'll dry the rest. Because you might as well dry it. It's used for most building scenarios. So um, I'd say it's pretty important. Um, cave lion attack is over and we're currently sitting at six knowledge. My ultimate goal for this episode is definitely to unlock the Mesolithic age. I want to start getting into some more advanced stuff. Um, more than likely I'm thinking about just making more huts. We have like so much food and so much stuff that like it really wouldn't even matter. Um, let's make some more knives. I want to get everybody to have a knife that might make things quicker. Can I make flint knives yet? Stone polishing. So maybe in the next age. Um, let's get everybody a knife. We're currently sitting at... So we're going to need to craft five knives. Okay. I just want to have everybody have a knife. As for fishing tools, I think I only have two fishermen anyway. Yeah. And we have... We don't really have that much fish, but our hunters are really going to town. So that's not really an issue. Uh, and grab that one last piece of leather because we did just craft a piece of leather. And uh, we can get rid of this, actually. We don't need that right now. And this is looking good. Looking good. Let's speed it up. Maybe somebody will uh, go and craft that flint. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Dog slaughter? Oh, wait, we got a dog. Hey, I didn't, I didn't do anything to get him. Maybe he was in the hunting area and we yoinked him up. I think we got points for it when the cave lion was attacking, if I remember correctly. So I'm... I mean, I'm totally down. I don't know what they do exactly. Maybe they just help, like, defend base or something? I, I'm not 100% sure. But I'm down to have some puppos. There's a storm coming in. Wild horse has escaped. What else is new? That's why you don't hunt horses. It's not easy. What do we need for this? These bit faces are made just out of straight flint, right? Yeah. Which we have. So he should craft those after the leather armor. That gets everybody to have leather during any seasons in which they would need leather. And he's also going to craft those final bit faces that everybody can grab up and finally have a knife. Which I think is going to hit us at 10 bit faces, which is also going to unlock uh, another milestone point for us. Which is wonderful. Or knowledge point, sorry. Capacity is 24. We need more people. More people. That's what I want. Let's just get more tents going as well. Always need more tents. Just keep stacking them up. Make sure we just keep having enough room for any amount of residents that want to enter our abode. And it keeps them busy, too. And I'm trying to get up to 10 tents, because that's going to give us points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Acquire 10 leather. Which is also nice. Alright, we need to chill on this. Uh, well... Maybe it'll work continuously. Wild horse times five killed. Trader arrived. Yes. Do you have the pottery thing on you? You don't. I hate you. Um, as for this, I have nothing to trade you, sir. I don't care about anything. And there's no, like, coin, so I can't just, like, sell stuff to him and keep it now, I don't think. I think it's, like, item for item, like it would be back in the day. So that doesn't really help us at all. Um, that's unfortunate, but what are you going to do? Food is still good. It seems like people are... What's wrong with this guy? 
This team of four has low stats, but will perform morale. Oh, I don't know what's up with your morale, dude. There's puppies running around. There's plenty of homes to live in. There's really no issue at all in this civilization. So you're just an idiot. That's what I'm going to say. That's what you are. Just an idiot. New humans have joined the settlements. Yes, we got two new people. As for that, I'm going to add those two more people into the hunting region. Just to keep hunting. Like, look at all the hunting that we're doing. We got a wild donkey there. We got Roskin just sitting around right there. And this will hit us up to 10 huts built. And bada bing, bada boom. Right? Give me the points. Give me the points for it. You know what? We should also get some hunting and gatherers going uh, over here now that it's in season. And we'll, we'll lower this down to two people because... Uh, we're doing all right on the whole leather front. I want to make... We might as well just keep making leather, right? Just continuously make leather. So... Ooh, saving game. Thank you, game, for saving us. I appreciate it. Look at our little town. It's not even that little anymore. It's coming together pretty well. All this cured meat. Uh, I think we're going to have to go for another cured meat rack. Which... Should be in storage, right? No? Is it in production? It is in production. All right, we'll put another food dryer over here, uh, which we need sticks for, which we have 10 sticks of, so we are good to go. And we'll start drying some more meat on that since our other one is indeed filled up. So their morale goes low, they go and they pray to the statue, and then everything works out. So that's nice. Uh, we actually are gathering a lot of berries. Holy crap, that's good. We have so much. We're like prospering. Usually in games like this, it's easy to start failing. But I guess this is like kind of like the starting mode. So I guess down the line, it's going to get harder. Obviously, once we reach some more milestones and whatnot. How's our storage tent doing? Storage wise, we're doing all right. I might just do another storage tent here uh, for the sake of uh, OCD. I think it's a smart idea. I wish I could turn this one sideways like I can turn the other guys sideways. We'll slap that right there. And uh, that'll do. That'll do. It seems like we need... Uh, we have everything to build it, actually. Besides the sticks, which I have stick gathering here, which is now empty. So we need to actually add another stick gathering location. Uh, let's say... Let's say over here. Stick gathering location. And we'll put two people on stick duty. Uh, we'll go for 26 and then... Mm, mm, we'll stay active at 15. At 15 sticks. It's usually about 10 to like make a drying rack. And I think that'll do, to be honest with you. Alright, so we got nine knowledge points now. The hunters... I'm going to add the hunters up to another person. Uh, just because the killing is really getting us a lot of those knowledge points. And I need to get more and more knowledge points because I want to get out of the current era. And those sticks should be coming in pretty soon. And all should be good. Every single person should have a knife. At Actually, we have two new people. So with that, we need more leather armor. And we need two more knives for them. Do we have enough spears? We have enough spears for them, for sure. Um... We're not really mining or going for stone or anything yet, so I'm not too concerned about making more pickaxes. But we might as well just get them on it. Just early before we get into it in the next age anyway. There we go. Another storage tent coming in. And then I think what we're going to do is just create, like, another village over here. You know what I mean? Versus, like, expanding this. Just create... Or, or we can kind of, like, bring it around, like, loop it this way. I don't think that would be the worst idea. It's like we got a lot of space for building. So, work area exhausted, obtain flint. Yeah, that's fine. All is good on the flint front, I think. And we're at 10 knowledge points. We need five more to enter the Mesolithic Age. I hope that the knowledge is not 15 for all of these. That would be disappointing and take way too long. At this point, our, our people are kind of existing without issue, really. We have so much cured meat and so much fish. We don't even need fishermen at this point. The hunting is going so well. But 
part of a balanced diet. You got to make sure you get your iron or you're going to get sick. Get scurvy. Wouldn't want that. But now at this point, we're just kind of patiently waiting for... Oh, is that a puppy? Oh my god. There's a puppy. Hell yeah. Oh god, we have a lot of dogs now. I don't... I hope we don't have to, like, feed them. Oh, we could slaughter them in the winter for food. Oh, wow, that's horrible. But at the same time, you gotta do what you gotta do if you run out of food. I wonder if, like, down the line, they're gonna add, like, world events where it's like, oh my god, uh, rotten fish in the fish. You lose half your fish, you know what I mean? Just, like, random kind of occurrences. Just kind of feels like everything flows too easily already. You know what I mean? Where's the where's the stress? Where's the challenge now? Because I'm keeping this at eight times without issue. Like, everything's just kind of set up to a point where I don't even need to to intervene. You know what I mean? Trader has arrived. What do you have? Straw. Don't know what that's used for, but we're going to buy it. Because it's useful. I'm going to buy kind of like their leather and stuff out as well. And we can sell them some of our, some of our spears, actually. Kind of, kind of low on spears. Skins outfit? I could sell them some, no, because we want to make sure. Hmm. We can sell them our dry, you know what? I don't really need leather or dry skin. I'm just going to buy the straw. What else can we add to this? A piece of flint to get 1010? Yeah, that works. Just because I don't know how we get straw, but we might as well start getting it now before the new age does come around. And maybe we can buy enough to up our knowledge a little bit anyway. Total housing, 33 animals, four dogs. Beautiful. Transports, that's the thing I'm looking most forward to. Do we just create more tents? I mean, we have enough stuff to do it. There we go. Acquired 100 raw meat. Sweet Jesus. Is there a way to repair these? Or are they just going to break, like, eventually, and I'm going to have to replace them all at once? It seems like they're dying ever so slowly, though. Once we have hatching, we can upgrade them. That's probably what it will do. It reset the, the lifespan of it. And we're in another winter. Boar has escaped. Let's see if we can survive winter number three or not. I would hope so. The hunters are rolling out with their slings and spears. There you go. Good kill. Good kill. We're going to need that for the winter. Mouflon. Knowledge one. Boar times ten. Knowledge one. Heck yeah. We got three dogs. One puppy. I hope they don't start producing too quickly or we're going to have way too many of them. But like 49 cured meat. Like how long does this stuff last? You know what we need to just start doing? We need to just start stacking up our flint and stone for once we start building this stuff. So, like, set people to mine these. And set people to start mining this flint over here. You know what? We can just do a building area. That'll work a little bit better. Because we might as well start kind of getting a little bit extra of everything. So that way we don't have to worry about gathering it when we need it. Obtain flint. Eh. I'd rather just do obtain stone. Why does the flint look like stone? There we go. Obtain stone. And we'll do this. And we'll bring it up to eh, 20 units. That'll work. And we'll have someone just mine that entire flint rock down. And people will start getting to work on that, hopefully. As for the hunter-gatherers, the stick boys over here, and the work areas of bushes, most of the bushes have indeed died. So it's not useful. It's starting to snow. Good thing everybody's got their leather outfits on. So they're all comfy. They have no problems. We got the campfire. The hearth is ready to go. We could probably build a, another hearth, maybe. Just to speed up on production of, like, warmth and whatnot. And who knows, maybe it'll make them happier. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's build another hearth over here. May as well. May as well. All right, got all our stone boys going to town. Oh, cave lion attack. One time speed. Where is this going on? Oh, they're like currently fighting the cave lion. Oh, they got him. Oh, they don't have issues with cave lions at all. Okay. 
I don't know, it warns me every time, but it doesn't seem like they even have an issue. There's another cave lion right here. I guess female's not gonna attack. And they grab the uh, the hide and what the heck is he? He's carrying flint? So did the flint guy just come and help? Is that what happened? You know what, why we don't have so many fish? Because we have a limit on the fish. We're gonna up that fish limit. Get the fishermen to work again. The stone guys are working strong. And we have two more knowledge points until the Mesolithic Age. And then the next episode, we'll be focusing on the Mesolithic Age. There we go. We got another hearth now. Which will keep people warm. And now somebody's chopping down trees because they need to meet the limit of uh, everything else. Battles are died of old age. Balzor was, I think, our fisherman. He was one of our originals. I remember always looking at Balzor and wondering why he wasn't picking up the better items, if I remember correctly. Poor Balzor, but what are you going to do? Is somebody going to, like, gather his stuff? Yeah, the guy, this guy's gathering his stuff. He's got some fish and whatnot on him. Who are these? Traitors? Oh, my God. We have four new people after that person died? And we have enough knowledge points for the next age? Hell, yeah. Okay, so there's seven each. That's not bad. Heck yeah. Okay, so we can do stone polishing. Well, we have pottery, which obviously we'll get into right away. Grain processing, pulse processing, and the sledge making. We're going to go with the sledge making probably right away. Uh, because you can build the sled. And then with the sled, you can carry like two or three, four. I don't know how many items it is at a time. Which just kind of ups the production speed of moving things around on the map and whatnot. Transportation, Mesolithic unlocked, pottery unlocked, transportation, sledges and carts, milestone unlocked, milestone unlocked. Look at our base. Beautiful. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new here. Um, we'll be back in the next episode when we get into the Mesolithic age. We had no problem with the cave lion attacks. We had no problems really with anything at all. I hope things start getting a little bit more hectic as time goes on. But as I said before, we are just going for milestones in order to unlock the, the harder challenges anyway. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and please leave a like again and peace out.